Imagine losing your vehicle because you had a handful of bullets in your possession. It really happened to one man, and it is driving the push for major changes in asset forfeiture laws. Correspondent Doug McKelway has the story. Two years ago, Kentucky farmer and one-time GOP statehouse candidate Gerardo Serrano was driving his new $60,000 Ford F-250 truck to visit relatives in Mexico, snapping pictures along the way. When customs agents halted him at the border, demanded his cell phone, asking, why are you taking pictures? I just wanted the opening of the bridge. I was just going to take a, a, the opening of the bridge, just the entrance of the bridge. That's all I, was, I wanted to do. They searched his truck and found five bullets that Serrano, a concealed carry permit holder forgot to remove. He was detained, but never arrested, nor charged, nor tried, nor convicted. But Customs seized his truck, telling his attorneys it was subject to the government's civil asset forfeiture program because it was used to transport munitions of war. Two years later, they still have it. I'm making payments of $673 a month. The civil asset forfeiture program dates back to English law that American colonists rebelled against. Their rebellion codified in the Fourth Amendment prohibitions against unreasonable searches and seizures. But forfeiture was revived in the 1930s era prohibition and again in the 1980s war on drugs and continues on to this day. It's absolutely astonishing that civil forfeiture is a policy that we have in this country. It is totally unjust, it is unfair, and I think it's unconstitutional. The police just take it and say, you prove to us that this isn't drug money. As a former police officer in Kansas, Morgan Wright saw the benefits of asset forfeiture. One of the cash seizures I had had plans for a methamphetamine laboratory in there. They had documented intelligence and people that had been working them that they were involved in these operations. We had people that were selling cocaine, people involved in cartel activities. Activity, actually out of Mexico. Many contend the program's abuses outweigh its benefits. Critics were outraged when this summer, Attorney General Jeff Sessions ended Obama-era restrictions that blocked forfeiture without a warrant or criminal charges. This month, in a rare show of bipartisanship, conservative House Republicans joined liberal Democrats to roll back Sessions' undoing of those Obama-era reforms. Asset forfeiture is a crime against the American people committed by their own government. In practice and in principle, adoptive forfeiture is a violation of that Fourth Amendment. The Senate is also poised to act, but many say what's most needed is a Supreme Court test case. It may get one. Mr. Serrano is suing Customs to get that truck back and to end the policy of civil forfeiture once and for all. Brett? Doug, thank you.